Welcome to How to Make a Tea Time Reservation video. The Tea Time Reservation program allows for processing, maintenance, and billing of tea times directly within Jonas. When integrated with the point of sale module, you can transform the booking related charges into individual or combined chits and settle them in one easy step. There are two ways to book players to tea times, quick booking or detailed booking, and we're going to go through both. Now, depending on how your system has been set up, you can open the tea time reservation screen either directly through the tea time management module by navigating through the tea time management processing tea time reservations, or you can go through the point of sale module by navigating through the point of sale system, chit processing, and start a new chit. Then you're going to log into the POS system as usual. Click the tea time management at the top of the POS screen and then we're going to use the sale option because we want to char charge for the rounds of golf played. Just as a side note, you can create bookings either way, but if you want to charge for rounds of golf played or have a chit created that includes some of the point of sales items, then you must do that through the point of sales module. Once you get to the tea time management screen, you will see a grid scheduling screen with the players across the top and the tea times on the left hand side. The view is a day view for the day you've chosen. The tea sheet will refresh every minute or so. If it's idle, then the grid will refresh and the shift the rows up to the current time. The appearance of this grid depends on the template that you have. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have a tea time reservation sheet open. If not, go to the open tea sheet button and open a tea sheet for that day. Then you'll be able to make a tea time reservation. If you want to learn more about how to open a tea sheet, you can go to the open tea sheet video. The first method we're going to go through is the quick booking method. Use this method to enter player booking details for tea times in a quicker fashion. The first step is to make a reservation is to select the player slots. If you want to add multiple players to the same reservation, Highlight the number of empty white player slots as required and then double click. This will open your default booking method, whether it is a quick or detailed booking method. Here, I have the quick booking method as the default booking method. If you want them all to have the same confirmation number, then highlight them and double click. If you want them to have a confirmation number to be separate for each booking, then click and book the slots individually to get a separate confirmation number. The second step you will do is enter the player's booking details. The top of the screen will display the booking information including the date, golf course, tee time, and the number of players on this booking. The maximum limit of players for a booking is set by the tee sheet template in use. The number of the rows in the grid is determined by the number of players setting. To add additional players to the booking, change the number of players. Let's go to the Players tab. For the members, select the lookup list by pressing the magnifying icon or by pressing F2 to retrieve existing information on the player. For guests, click on the player number icon in the row in the Players section. This will pull up a screen for you to add information on the guest player. If this is the first time the guest has been added in our system, you can create a get new guest record in the guest database by filling out the rest of the information on the guest player. Only the player's surname is required. Now going across the row for this booking, you can see that you can change the golfer's classification from their member file here, the number of holes, which is default to the settings in the golf course, the mode of transportation, if they were like, like a caddy or a golf club rental, and the price. If you mouse over the price field, you will see what items the price is composed of. If we go to the Reservation Summary tab, indicate the reservation classification for this booking. The default for this is set in the golf course settings. If you have any reservation notes, you can enter them here, and after you confirm the tea time, an icon will appear on the reservation to show that there are notes on this reservation. 
Now let's go to the bottom. At the bottom you'll see a player booking summary section. And this will display the reservation confirmation number to be assigned and the total price. The third step you will do is confirm the booking. So press, so go ahead and press the Confirm Tea Time Reservation Details button when you're finished to save the reservation details and produce confirmation forms or emails. Depending on your settings, you'll receive pop-up messages about golfer reservation classification that restrict the player from completing the reservation. Alternatively, you can press the Exit to Previous Screen button and return to the main reservation screen without saving. Once you have confirmed your reservation, the player slots will typically change color in the main reservation screen to indicate that they are booked. The color displayed here will be dependent on the golfer classification. You will notice an icon on the top right hand corner if notes or modes of transportation were added to this reservation. Now let's go through the detailed booking method. Another way of entering reservations is the detailed booking method, which allows you to add more details within the booking screen. If the booking method default is set to quick booking and you want to do detailed booking, click on the grid where you want the reservation to be, and then go to the top left hand corner called the detailed booking button. Otherwise, if the booking method default is set to detailed bookings, then you just click on the grid for the desired reservation and then double click to pull up the screen for the detailed bookings. The second step you will do is enter the booking details. At the top of the screen in the number of players section, select the number of players if different than that what you've already selected or just check to see if you've got the right number of players there, and the number of holes. Also at the top, there is Reservation Details section, and you will find the confirmation number, the golf course, the tee time, and the classification that you've already set up on the other screen. In the Player Information section, use the Member or Guest field and select from the lookup list by pressing the magnifying icon to retrieve existing information on the player. If this is the first time the guest has been in our system, you will need to create a new guest record in the guest database by filling out the rest of the information on the guest player. Only the player's surname is required. If there are any additional players, you can change the number of the players at the top, which will add extra buttons for each player, and then you can add the information for each of those added players. The Tea Time Guarantee section is only enabled when integrated with the secure credit card processor. It's used in the reservations to secure the booking. The Player Photo section will default to the member's photo if present. The Player Rounds section is useful for looking into the past or future bookings for the member. The Carts, Caddies, rental clubs and GPS section is where you can assign resources like pull or power carts, specific caddies, rental club usage or assignment of GPS units. As each item gets added in the section you will see it added in the point of sale items area in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. The point of sale items section Prior to checking them in, this area is used to double check any items that you have assigned above or to add any other items. Just as a side tip, if the sales items are automatically displayed in this area when you perform a booking, this indicates your system has already been set up to do so based on the golfer's classification, day or time, season and golf course. Please consult with your administrator if you have any questions about the default items being brought into the booking whether you should be adding or deleting any items from this area. In most circumstances, you will add or modify chargeable items once a player has been checked in to the point of sale chip processing screen. If this is the case, you can skip the remainder of this area's content. 
To add or delete items here, click the Point of Sale Items button. Select Add a Sales Item to a Player Reservation. The Player's Point of Sale Items screen opens. Choose a Point of Sales Item. Click OK. Now, to delete or edit an item, click the Point of Sale Items. Select the item that you want to edit or delete. Click Delete and confirm the deletion, or you can change the quantity or the retail price if that's available to you. Fields may be set to force the entry of some of the player details that is associated with this particular player. Now go ahead and press the Tea Time Reservation Notes button to enter free form notes to this reservation. If a note is on the reservation, it will be indicated with an icon in the main screen once the reservation has been confirmed. The third step you will do is confirm the booking. This area of buttons at the bottom of the player booking detail screen lets you decide whether to accept or reject the data entry associated with the booking you're working on. Press Confirm TTI Reservation buttons to accept the information. If your system has been configured to display the confirmation booking reservation number, a prompt will appear and you will be returned to the main reservation screen. Press Proceed to Player Check-in button to process walk-in players that have just arrived and want to play, like without having called in or made a reservation. Press the Tea Time Reservation Edit Log button if you wish to see what charges have been made to an existing reservation. Double-click on any detail will bring up any further information about the event, what has changed, and who did it. Once you've confirmed your reservation, the player slots will change color depending on your club settings in the main reservation screen, indicating that they are filled. This concludes the end of the Tea Time Reservation video.